The monkey tool is used to dress the shoulders of any forged tenon. It is not intended to dress the tenon itself. The elliptical hole is to allow water and scale to exit as you're using the tool. First thing we need to do is make the elliptical drift. I'm making mine out of 5 8 round. I start by drawing a steep taper. Then I'm going to turn the bar 90 degrees and forward a more gradual taper. This gradual taper is going to turn to parallel sided at the main body of the drift. I heavily relieve the corners at the struck end. Turning the bar around end for end, I remove the excess material over the bick. I'm going to continue working at the bick as I draw the taper out to the working end. And the working end should be narrower than the main body of the drift. Again, heavily remove the corners to the taper and then get rid of any hard lines on the main body of the drift. Depending on your result, you might want to give a taper to the working end a little wipe over with your hot rasp. Once we've got the drift made, then we can turn our attention to the actual punch. Generally, I say that you can go a 16th oversize with the punch over the width of your drift. But in this case, I'm going to dress the sides of the punched hole, which can change the dimensions of the hole. Note how the sides of the monkey tool have been dressed flat. To compensate for any change in dimension of the punched hole, my slot punch will measure or have a width of 11 16th. I do dress the sides of the monkey tool while the drift is only partially driven through. So after making your 11 16th wide slot punch, punch a hole in a bar. Now I'm punching in 3 quarter square which I would say is the minimum that you could use. Uh, generally I would use a 1 inch square bar. As the tenon bar will be rotated as you dress the shoulder, you're going to need a stop for your monkey tool that is greater than the diagonal measurement of any square bar that you intend to use for your tenon. Round bar, no problem. A half inch square bar has a diagonal of about three quarters of an inch. Thus, my minimum for the monkey tool of three quarter inch square bar. Dress the sides of the monkey tool while you're still on the taper to the working end of your drift. As you're working on the taper, I'd recommend drifting from the other side of the bar as well as, and then repeating the process. I generally don't quench my drift, preferring to keep it hot and therefore it's not going to quench the edges of the punched hole. And so I need to work with the drift accordingly so I don't get burnt by the drift when I'm handling it. Once you've got the edges dressed to your liking, go ahead and drive the drift all the way through the material. Give yourself a generous allowance for the struck end, so that the main body of the monkey tool can securely rest on the anvil face when you're using it. I like to taper the struck end and then I chamfer the corners. The distance of the punched and drifted eye from the working end is going to be dependent on your intended tenon length. For half inch bar, I like 5 16 diameter tenons, which gives me a little room for a chamfer at the bottom of the tenon. Don't use your monkey tool to dress the tenon, otherwise you're just going to be running cold shots into the root of the tenon.